Hi folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus with me, Alex Fu, and we just beat this guy, this, this, this ruffian, who was, I want to turn on the volume off. um, you know, that guy that I had no idea how to beat, really, so I'd wing it. Um, well, at least not how to, how to beat him the right way. Oh, look at her. Still dead. Duh. Anyway. This is a completely pointless cutscene, but whatever, we'll go with it. I swear to god, that is the same name, sound of the opponent. I, I, every time I hear it, I can't get over it. My next foe is... It casts a colossal shadow across a misty lake. What was that? <laughs> um, as it sorts through the sky, basically this is the bird. Um, he's really fun. <laughs> Just gonna say that, and you'll you'll see why. Because this is the very first colossus who doesn't actually walk. Okay. And the colossi that don't walk are the f most fun, but at times the most annoying as well. But we'll get to that later. And we're going this way. Uh, I'm not really sure what to talk about today, because it's not really or early in the morning at all. It's 10.30. Um, but I mean, I, I woke up at 7 and I've been researching the underground gay scene in 18th century Britain all morning. And it's really interesting, but I want to take a break from it. And then I'm going... <laughs> Once 11 rolls around, I'm going back up to college so that I can go to my... Con uh, not contemporary early and modern Irish literature class, and we can learn about Joyce. Joyce! Ugh. James frickin' Joyce. Had to read the Dubliners, well, some of the Dubliners, this weekend, and... I, I, I get where, I get what he's saying. I, I get how... It's a backlash against Gregory and Yates and how awesome rural Ireland is um, and the old traditions. And he's like, "Yeah, you guys have never, you guys have never been to Boston in the fall, have you?" <laughs> um, and I've never been to Boston in the fall because we're the pirates that don't do anything. We just sit around and I can't remember the rest of the words. <laughs> um, but anyway. I understand what he's saying. I, I understand, like, the symbolism and everything, but they're the most asinine stories. They're And they're not bad stories. It's just... They don't have an end. He it, Like, this one story I'm, I'm reading about these two go, go, guys that go play hooky. Okay, okay, I, fine. I can, I can understand that. Um, there's plenty of American literature that does the same thing. Um, they go out and they decide to play around in the fields. Okay, yep, yep. Um, this old guy comes around and one of the kids, guys is, they're kind of freaked out by him, but whatever, he's a strange old man, and then Mahoney, like, looks at him while he's gone away, he's like, oh, they're pervert and everything, but... And he comes back and then they go up the hill and... The other, the main guy calls down to Mahoney in the fake name that they decided on, and that's it. That that's it. Like, there's absolutely no let down. There's no conflict. There's no wrapping up. It, there's no plot at all, really. I mean, I guess I can understand what he's trying to talk about, like new and the old ways of thinking about England and all that because again this is the revival and we're talking about Irish Revolution and all that and 
Mahoney is supposed to represent the old way of, th or the old new way of thinking about the English, and the main character is supposed to be like the city way of thinking about the English. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. But yeah, this is the bird. Tell me. I've heard about this. That's strange. They seem to be missing a, pe a, a piece of an ornithical, or ornithological variety. I just think it thought it would be big news and that they'd have this piece of aviary gossip. Oh well, haven't you heard? Oh, it, I was under, I was under the impression that everybody had heard. Heard what, Peter? Da 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 the bird is a word da 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 the bird is a word and you heard about the bird well everybody's heard about the bird if we go here we can jump right up on him and this is basically the way you get on him no other way as far as I know it's also the easiest oh and now we have to go down to his tail. Let's go, let's go, let's go, while he's not banking. Because while he's banking, we gotta climb. But if we climb the entire time, we're gonna fall off. Because we're gonna lose all our grip. So, we can't... Whoa. Camera angle. Camera, camera. Be nice to me. Be nice to me now. Alright. And his first weak spot is on his tail. And his easiest weak spot. Because his, his tail doesn't move around much. He's got to keep it fairly straight. Because they kept the flying mechanics sort of realistic for this guy. That he uses his tail as a runner. However, we're going to run into some problems with his wings. Because, like I said, they keep his flying mechanics sort of realistic. Um, I mean, they're slowed down a lot. They're, not, they're never going to... I mean, no, nothing's ever going to be able to fly like this, but as far as other flight things, this is more realistic for a bird. He coasts, he glides, then he flaps to gain altitude again. And yes, the weak spot's on the very tip of the wing. Well, not the very tip, but it's far enough out that this happens. And he decides to flip and everything. Which I have yet to ever see a bird do that, but... <laughs> oh, I think that might be it for that weak spot. Yes, it is. Alright, and let's fall... Ooh, I actually made it. <laughs> That's new. I don't have enough grip... Enough, as much grip as I want yet. There we go. This guy was extremely easy, actually. We're already done with him, pretty much. Well, I can't even talk about this other bird video that I had looked up because I wanted to know the song for it. Um, it's a video by... Let me look her up real quick. It's a video by... Oh... No, 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 no. No, I can't remember her name. Um... Oh, that's it. It's a video by Lene Lovick, Bird Song, and I don't know. She trills and makes bird noises the entire time, and she's just like, Whoa! but it's really catchy. <laughs> I don't know, I like it. But yeah, guys, that's the Bird Colossus, and we should be drowning anytime soon, so. Yep, there we go. I will see you guys next time, and thank you very much for watching. This has been Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. Take it easy.